Festival joins the buzz spreading down the East Kent coast this summer as its art festival launches onto the contemporary scene to accompany Folkestone's triennial and Margate's new Turner building. It's on for two weeks every two years and this year you can see the work of 120 different artists. Whitstable Biennale opens on the 21st of June and one of the more unusual works is The Drowning of Tuvalu by Nick Crow. As global sea levels rise, the nine tiny islands of Tuvalu in the South Pacific are destined to be the first landmass entirely lost to the sea, something which Whitstable is also likely to feel the effects of. So what was the inspiration behind the drowning of Tuvalu? Tuvalu is the, is the home of the .tv domain name. So if you've ever been to a website that was something .tv, it will be registered, well, <laughs> not there, but in the real Tuvalu. It's kind of their major export. It's, it's actually where they get all their income from. Uh, and when I first heard about that, that Tuvalu was going to disappear, I thought, that's amazing. So the domain name will carry on, obviously. There'll be a part of cyberspace that still exists, but it relates to a real bit of the world that won't be there anymore. The concrete islands anchored to the seabed are drowned by the incoming tide and then revealed again each day as the tide goes out. Well, it's, it's conceived as a performance and the, the, the actor is the sea. And what people are invited to do is to come down at the twice daily, there'll be a, a 20 minute performance when the sea hits the furthest island and then comes in and covers them all up. This is one of the seven main commissions at the Biennale and they're all carefully chosen by director Sue Jones. What I try and do for the festival is approach artists that I think are at a point in their career where they're, they're really, really exciting and they've, you know, they've created a body of work already that's exciting, but that they'll respond to this opportunity and create something amazing for Whitstable. So they're all individual works that are absolutely there for their own merits and together they make up a diverse and interesting programme. Another of the main commissions is by Serena Corder, who's going to be encouraging visitors to lodge a secret in her library, something she knows people do from personal experience. It started because I kind of used to collect, um, or I'd sort of find things uh, in books, in my book collection, uh, things that were kind of precious, or, and sometimes things that were just quite throw away like a shopping list but sometimes I find maybe a poem someone had written to me and I somehow had this sort of filing system and I felt that that was quite a kind of um, generic thing that people would generally kind of do that but as, alongside that there's a whole collection of actual things found in um, public library books all over Kent so Kent have donated their collection so I'll be showing that collection at the Horsebridge Centre uh, over the duration of the Biennale. Mike Chavez Dawson's exhibit in the Fish Slab Gallery involves cinema. He's not showing any films, but small audiences will be helping him to visualise entire movies, starring the late Whitstable legend Peter Cushing. He'll also be projecting pictures called raw shocks, used in psychoanalysis to determine a patient's state of mind onto the wall, using Cushing's own projector. Um, I will be sitting in the corner and I will be mentally visualising the movie from the beginning to end. And then I'll also be asking uh, the audience to do the same. Um, as you probably can see behind me, I'm going to be using uh, raw shocks um, as a visual uh, aid for the people to kind of look at. Uh, the great thing about raw shocks is the more you look at them, the more you can see into them and the more things kind of like manifest. Pretty much like looking at clouds. When you see clouds, you can see faces and people. So. Uh, I think with that as a visual aid and also with the sort of hypnotist um, audio track that I've worked on uh, with a local hypnotist called Simon Grant um, that will help create a conducive environment and also hopefully get the audience into a relaxed state where they can actually start to engage and actually imagine the film that I'm mentally visualising. The Biennale goes on until the 6th of July. So if you don't get to the opening on June the 21st, there are still two weeks to see what's on offer. <laughs>